I am Father Rufino Ezama of the Comboni Missionaries, and today I have the pleasure and the honor of introducing to you uh, Archbishop Mengistab, who is the Archiepark of Asmara in Eritrea. So he will be sharing with us. Archbishop, you're welcome. Thank you. Last Friday, people began hearing in September, others saying, Happy New Year to people in Eritrea, people in Ethiopia. How come that they are saying this Happy New Year in the middle? And how is it said in the local language? And what importance is this year for you? Well, uh, <clears throat> there are some differences uh, in the Christian world, you know. Uh, in the Eastern part, there are different rites and different also calendars. We follow the Julian calendar. This is followed in Egypt, in Eritrea, in Ethiopia. But even Israel starts the new year at this time. Uh, it is really a, a moment that is most meaningful for us because it is the time of the new fruit. People have cultivated and uh, the fields have matured and so we start to eat new fruit so a new year fits with that. Uh, we are in 19, uh, in 2013. Mm -hmm. Seven years. Seven years of difference. Yeah. There, there is this difference, the Julian and the Gregorian calendars. Both of them are not exactly right as far as the birth of Jesus is concerned. But the Julian is older than the Gregorian. It was uh, Saint Gregory the Great who uh, invented the Gregorian uh, calendar. Uh, and so <clears throat> for us, it is time of a new year. Uh, even the mountains, the fields are full of flowers. Uh, it is time to prepare for harvest. So it is fit for a new year. And, uh, this first day of the year is dedicated to St. John the Baptist. It is known by this name, St. John the Baptist, and we wish each other uh, a good year, peaceful and happy new year. We wish each other. In Tigrinya, we say Buruk Audamet, which means a blessed new year. Mm -hmm. Buruk is a blessed like in Hebrew and so on. Our language is a Semitic language like uh, Hebrew and uh, Arabic as well. And uh, we have two big feasts during September. One is this Saint John the Baptist and then on the 27th of uh, uh, September we uh, celebrate the feast of the finding of the Holy Cross. It is a long story. Saint Elena, the mother of Emperor Constantine, Constantine yeah. uh, was very pious, very spiritual uh, lady. And uh, when she went on pilgrimage to Jerusalem, and uh, she went to uh, the Mount Calvary as well, she was eager to find out which one was the, uh, the, the cross Christ. where Jesus was nailed to. Because the Romans used to kill people on the cross, uh, thousands of people, criminals, you know, and they threw them into a big uh, hole there. So uh, the story goes that uh, they were not able to identify the cross of our Lord. And so what they did is they lined up the crosses and they asked the sick people to touch them. And those who touched the one of Jesus got cured. So a big feast. Uh, because 
the cross of Jesus was identified. And in our tradition, it is said that peace of that cross came to our land with fireworks, you know, accompanied by people with fireworks. So we have this what we call damera or the fireworks in the cities in particular, but also in the countryside. Going back to the calendar, each year is named by uh, an evangelist. So this year, 2013, that we started last Friday, is dedicated to St. Matthew, the evangelist. Next year will be St. Mark. The year after will be St. Luke. The fourth year is always St. John, and it is a leap year. Okay. So uh, usually, the first of the year in our tradition is celebrated on the 11th of September in the Gregorian calendar. But last year, because it was St. John's year, we celebrated it on the 12th mm -hmm. of September. Uh, this dedication to the, to the uh, evangelist is also very meaningful in the sense in that year you can reflect more on that particular gospel. Uh, um, the other uh, thing we could mention is, it is a beginning of a new year, but it's also the beginning of the liturgical year for us. We start at the beginning of September, uh, like the Gregorian or Latin rite starts at the beginning of December. Yeah, usually. With Advent. Uh, ad with Advent, we start at this time. And this period, uh, is because it is of flowers and so on, is dedicated to Mary, mm -hmm. the pure, beautiful flower uh, you know, uh, that God has given us. So the hymns, and the, uh, the matutines are taken from the Song of Songs, oh, wow. uh, kind of love stories. You know, for six Sundays, uh, the, we sing this song. On one hand is the church and Christ, on the other it is Mary. Uh, so that is the reflection uh, that is made every Sunday. It has its own peace. You know, they're dedicated. And most of the times, Zemenet uh, Ge means the time of flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that is the, the period or the time of flowers, of harvest, is uh, beautifully uh, expressed uh, through the um, uh, Song of Songs. You know, uh, that's, yeah. Uh, now, uh, the other thing is, many times when the new year starts like that, uh, I remember growing up, it was a joy for us, the youth. Uh, do the youth in Eritrea or in that part of the world, how do they celebrate these festivities? Is there something they, they do in order to recall? Yes, uh, first of all, both on the first of the year and uh, on the Feast of the Holy Cross, fireworks are the expression, especially in the first of the year, like last uh, Thursday, in the evening. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, what we do is, the young people, they have these torches lighted, and uh, they go around the, uh, the village, all around, and then put the fire together, yeah. and then they jump over the fire yeah. uh, with a prayer. May God uh, uh, keep us until next year this time. So they jump three times in the name, in, the, in honor of the Holy Trinity. They jump three times over the fire. And the meaning of the fire is, you know, fire purifies. Yes. So it burns the old one and the new one is. Plus, with the torches, they go around the, the courtyard of the house, 
they go into the house and they say, let all the bad negative things go out <laughs> and the good things enter. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let, uh, you know, honey and uh, milk come in and let the, uh, the other not very appreciated uh, food uh, yeah. leave. So new year, new life, new fruits. Yeah. This is the wish of uh, every young man. And then one particular I, I have to mention also, with the songs, traditional songs and so on, you see where they gather, they dance, and also they look at each other. So they, they, they identify who may be a fiancé. Okay. Uh, like, you know, identifying a future mate. Yeah. Uh, that's also the time of this. The girls especially, they put flowers on their heads around yeah. like the, uh, they the are crown. dressed in their best and so on. And so the young men are also, you know, uh, looking around to, to see who can be their future wife in a way. The, so it's a good beginning. Uh, and then everyone wishes the other a good year a better year than the one that has passed. In our Christian tradition, the evening before the first of the year is also the time when the priest gives an account of the whole year in the sense how many new lives were born and baptized and how many have left the community with death. With death. Yeah, that's also a way of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, giving an account and also reflecting that we are not eternal here. Exactly. That uh, people who started the new year last year with us are no more there. Exactly. So it's a way of helping people to reflect that uh, one day also they will not be there. You know, uh, that's how this is very deep and meaningful time for us. Uh, and uh, people usually they try to be at home during this uh, beginning of the new year. Wherever they have been, they try to come home to spend time with family, with children, with wives or husbands, and so on. Uh, it is a joyful, usually, also. Uh, um, they kill an animal, you know, for the feast, usually, yeah. the, the, the family, or they share among families and so on. So, uh, uh, new, new clothing is bought yeah. with the new year, uh, new clothing and so on, whoever can. Uh, new food, as I said, because is the first fruits are, are collected in this time. Uh, then practically from the middle of September, harvest starts. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for that sharing. I think uh, just to emphasize two things as you linked, you know, the new year to the story of uh, the cross, mm -hmm. you know, discovering of the cross of Christ. Uh, Tomorrow, September 14th, is uh, the feast, exactly. the solemnity of the exaltation of the cross. Mm -hmm. So that is so important. And also looking at a new season has begun here, like in North America, we are now uh, in okay. fall. Uh, it also reminds me of the season of spring, when there is the explosion of life mm -hmm. with flowers. And we do celebrate also Easter around that time, the yeah. victory of life over death. Mm -hmm. So let us uh, thank Archbishop uh, Mengista for this uh, sharing, where we know that the new year should bring us those blessings he talked of. And may we continue being united in prayers with those who are celebrating this new year somewhere. They are also praying for us. May we be united. May God bless you.